Hello, this is Angie V and I am so glad to finally be back. I've been on such a long break just because I wanted to improve my channel. If you can tell my background's changed a little bit and I have an extra artificial light now so that helps me film whenever I want. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you guys can get notifications every single time I post. So this video is just going to be a video on my simple eyebrow routine. It does not take me long. I use very few products. So if you guys would like to see this simple eyebrow routine, then make sure you keep on watching. Stay tuned to the end and I will give you all the tips that I use to make sure that my, eyes stay my brows stay looking all good all throughout the day. And yeah. So I start by using this pencil. It's just a really cheap drugstore pencil, but I made sure it's a gray toned brown. The one I love to use is the one by Absolute New York, and I love the shape of it. And of course, there's more high-end ones like Anastasia. But this is what I'm using for now. And as you can see, I'm lining the bottom part and the top of my brows, just like a simple outline of the brows, because I don't like to make them too dark. After they're filled in, then as you can see, I start to lightly fill them in with the same pencil. I'm using a very light hand here because it is quite pigmented. And then after I fill in a little bit, I do like hair-like strokes. And then I use the brush end of the Absolute New York pencil I was telling you guys about. And then I just brush the product all through the brows, as you can see. And this just evenly distributes the product. So before you want to add any more and thicken up or color in any parts where you think that it's a bit too sparse, continue to comb through. So as you can see, I'll be filling in and then combing through and alternating like that just to make sure there's even product spread out through the brows and a nice clean line. But it doesn't have to be like extremely perfect like smooth brow line because we're gonna clean that up with concealer and with concealer in a little bit so I do exactly what you've seen on this side of my brow to the other side as well This is all nicely filled in. I take my LA Pro concealer in the color Creamy Beige and this flat angled brush and I just clean up under my brows with the product. I just do a nice straight line. You don't have to do like one straight line across as you can see. I'm doing like short little strokes just to make a nice straight and even line and this gives the perfect illusion of like freshly tweezed or threaded brows which I don't really do. Um, I'm really trying to grow out my brows. I really like the thicker look so I haven't really been tweezing except if it's like really far out of the outline of my brow. So after that's all put in, I just blend it out with my finger because I love the application when it's blended with my finger. And then at the end there, at the tail end, I just wanted to fill that in a little bit more to give me my desired shape. And then I do the same on the other brow. And then after that's all blended out with my finger, now I take another LA Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And this one is more almost my exact skin shade and I like to use this on the top part of my brows because I feel like it looks more natural. I don't like an extremely bright concealer on the top because I think it looks a little bit like fake and too done. I like the more natural looking brows. So I take the toffee on the top with the same brush and on the top part after everything is all evenly um, blended out on both sides I use a sponge which is just what I use for most of my makeup because I don't have a beauty blender at the moment so I just get this triangle sponge and blend it all out and it basically looks like there's no even concealer there and then when I'm done I just brush through the brows again make sure there's no concealer or any product that's gone on the brow so this just makes them nice and clean and now I take my clear brow gel from Essence I know it doesn't look clear that's because there's so much product on the brush from combing it through my brows but anyway I just comb this all the way through my brows and this helps my brows stay in place and I love the way it looks although guys I really want to try the Maybelline brow drama and the one that has like the little hair fibers I'm not sure how I'm gonna get my hands on it but I really want to try that and this is the finished look this is what my brows look like when they're done I went ahead and finished my makeup I actually have a tutorial on this look either one of them is gonna go up first so I did the rest of my face but these are the brows that I did I hope you guys liked them I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video 